everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe, remember to smash that like button, remember to share because why? Sharing Ivorian Spice is caring guys. Boom! And today guys, oh, oh, it's Manchester United 2, Liverpool 4. Match United being finessed by Liverpool, being sexed up by Liverpool, by those lousy, smelly scumbags of a scousers. Can you believe it? They come to our ground, our turf, and do whatever they want to do with us. Fiddle with us, you know, kitty fiddling with us, you know, and then go home. That like nothing ever happened. And we out here shivering in the corner, tormented and <laughs> Liverpool, 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 touch me, touch me, touch me. <laughs> That's what happened to us guys. We got touched up, molested in all different ways. And I'm so upset. I'm so upset. And I know guys, you are upset as well because you must be pissed off and fuming like raw. Like seriously, what the fuck did I just watch? What the fuck did I just watch, guys? Because, huh, I don't know where it just all started falling apart from the second half, you know? From there, it just fell apart. You're just thinking, oh my God, like, oh, I can't do this tonight, you know? Especially after seeing a positive um, news scene, those fans coming to protest. And you know what makes me so damn mad is the fact that Manchester probably spent all this money on extra security just, to, just for the Glazers. Just for those blood clot the glazers, but big up those match nine that tried to turn up for a protest, stopping the Liverpool coach. But hey, I know there were decoys, you know. Manchester United players came early, apparently, so it just shows how much of a pussy Manchester United owners and all and the club as well are, you know, coming so damn early just to make sure this game goes ahead so that they can collect their money, you know. And then Premier League gets their broadcasting money, of course, and fulfill their contract. You know, you see all these things that they did, it just pissed me off. But back to the game, guys. I'm just, I'm just annoyed, guys. I'm so annoyed. But yeah, it is what it is. Like, we were shit. Absolutely shit, guys. Honestly speaking, you, you know it yourself, we were shit. Horrendous with the ball, ball retention, ball distribution. Whoever's in charge of our set pieces should get set sacked in the morning seriously just email him dear whatever mr coach remember mr board distributor coach mr ball retention mr set piece guy you are fired man your p45 it should be at your door 8 p.m apparently so you should be hearing the door knock right now as you read this email your p45 bro because this is a joke man now we're supposed to be an elite club and we just can't do the basics right the ball distribution, ball retention, horrendous. Who's in charge of it? Oli said he doesn't do the coaching, which makes me just, gets me even more mad. And I can't even blame him because he don't do the coaching. He's just the manager. And if he's just a manager and he allows this to happen and he can't, and, and he's just inept to see rubbish coaching, then he needs to go. But it's not about all he needs to go. It's about what happened today. Let's go straight into that match, guys, because boy, oh boy, oh boy. 1-0. We started off so well, guys. We started off so well with Bruno Fernandes. I think it's a Matt Phillips own goal. But Bruno Fernandes claiming that goal, making it 1-0. And then after that, there was the VAR decision for Bailly. Eric Bailly, a penalty. But I thought that it wasn't a penalty. Although that reckless Bailly, reckless, reckless, you need to stop it, Bailly. Because this was just different between why Lindelof starts and Maguire starts because of their intelligent decisions sometimes i'm not going to give them credit for them for being the most intelligent defenders and they're, they're less rash than you but you need to stop it guys guys you let me know what you think of that penalty situation that video was it a pen or was it not a pen and then it was diego jota equalized it and i just thought henderson could have just punched that ball even better you know when we when jota equalized from that set piece i just thought henderson could have just done better you know, you guys will think that I'm harsh, but I'm not being harsh. I just thought Henderson can do better. I could have done better. 2 1 Liverpool, that pussy of Roberto Firmino scoring, Bobby Firmino, whatever you are, scoring his first goal in about 15 games. 
Yeah, he's so shit. And this is a number nine, you know. Ah. Halftime, Liverpool leading 2 1, second half. We just concede immediately, straight away, making it 3 1. And Henderson blunder, you know. Henderson, Henderson, Hendo, Hendo, Hendo. God, I miss David De Gea. Well, well doubt. David De Gea. Roses are red, violets are blue. God damn, I miss David De Gea. And you too, Maguire. I miss him so much because you can see what Maguire brings to us. Because you can see what Maguire brings to the defence. Defensive stability, leadership, organize, defensive organization. People think he's not that vocal, although I, I, I think since I might as well that he's not that vocal, but he does a lot in terms of organizing the defense. And that's a good credit to Maguire. De Gea would have saved whatever Henderson was trying to do. I don't know what he was trying to do. Even the board didn't know what he was trying to do. But De Gea would have done way better. And you know what happened? It just leaded up to Firmino scoring again, you know. Two goals with that bloody blunder from Henderson, and it just oh, it just went worse from down from there. It just really went worse. Marcus Rashford scoring, making it three two at that moment. There, good interplay by Bruno Cavani and Rashford. It was a good piece of play. I can't lie to you guys. Rashford, shit performance, absolutely shit throughout the whole ninety minutes. But guess a goal. I just don't know how he does it. Huh. God damn that MDE Marcus Rashford. God damn, he's good. 4-2, Mohamed Salah, you know, it's Eid Mubarak to him, Eid Mubarak to all of you guys. He had to score on his day, you know, it was Eid for him. Allah blessed him and said, know what, you're going to score against Manchester United. Here's my Eid present, you know, and he enjoyed it and he soaked it in. 4-2, full-time, Liverpool beat us, Man United back-to-back -back defeat in those two games in three, ga in three days, sorry guys. Donkey of the match. Definitely has to go to Meg Mayo. Shit, guy. Can't pass. Just, just the worst ball distributor of, of them all today. And he, he's the one that makes Fred look shit. Honestly speaking, and the, the fact that we put Mac before the Fred pisses me off now. It should really piss off Fred. And he came off as well. Fred came off when he shouldn't have. And I thought Mc Sauce, sorry. And I thought Mc Tom Nation came off bloody plain Mayo of them. Machinale, it is what it is. We've got piped in by Liverpool. We got sexed up, you know, we got touched up. We got moved to like it was a Saturday night at Soho and we was moving drunk like a chick, you get me? And moving all loose to be like asking for numbers and you still getting that like Ah Machinale fans, it is what it is, man. A defeat to Liverpool. This has been your match reaction by a foreign spice, guys. Oh, oh, oh. You let me know who was your donkey of the match if you had a man in the match. Let me know what you thought of today's match. As always, remember, guys, to follow the official Instagram account of Red United TV, which is Red United TV 1, baby. And also remember to follow the official TikTok account, which is Red United TV. And do remember to follow my official Instagram account, which is Ivorian underscore Spice, across all the socials, you know, Twitter and also Snapchat, guys. And last but not least, a big up to Talks MU for rebranding the logo, also creating some overlays. Big up to him, hats up to him for helping out and rebranding the show, guys. Rebranding the page, the YouTube page. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping you guys love the new look course big ups to MU Talks and as always remember to subscribe smash that like button remember to share because sharing and women spice is caring and my ladies <sighs> remember to share to your ex-boyfriend remember to share the link to your current boyfriend remember to share the link to the pussy old guy that you work with that keeps buying you lunch every day even though you have money you just rinse him dry and he'll never get any remember to share to the guy that been trying to move to you at the bus stop you know asking you for your number and stuff and you tell him that you've got a man and he's out there saying oh whatever your butt is though anyway Again, remember to share that to him as well. Remember to share to the guy that's tried to move you at the train station and you've told him you've got a man. But he keeps saying we can be friends though. He never listened. Remember to share to the chicken man that's been giving you free rings, asking you for your number, but you gave him your Snapchat and he, he's alright with that. Boss man is alright with that. Remember to share to your pastor that's been trying to move to you. Slow key asking you to come 
and pray with him, you know. He's be telling you, don't worry, just come pray now. But, but, and you're telling the pastor, pastor, it's wrong. He's like, no, no, it's just prayer now. Just me and you, one-on-one, one-on-one. -on -one. Remember to share to the guy that is your dad's friends that's been telling you, my, oh, my, you have grown. And when you've shared that link, tell them you find a man that does it way better than him. Get me. And that's how I'm forming spice. As always, you guys, remember to keep it united. And also remember to keep it red united. I'm out. Peace out.